Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about SharePoint site left navigation customization. I'll show you how we can work with the quick launch or the left navigation of a SharePoint site. Uh, we will see how we can add links, how we can add emoji to uh, the links text, as well as I'll show you how we can uh, uh, set audience targeting for the navigation so that if a user if you want uh, to display some of the links for a group of people then you can do that like uh, but you should remember that uh, you need to be a site owner to make any changes to the left navigation or the quick launch of a SharePoint site just to tell you that uh, if you are if you want to implement in a team site then you will get the left navigation or the navigation can be on the top of the page i'll show you uh, in a SharePoint team site as well and if you are using a communication site you will have only the top navigation the left navigation will not be available for that but all other customizations will be applied for that so but we will do all the examples on a team site uh, and the same thing you can do and also if you are using on-premises version then uh, the mega menu is not available basically there are two types of uh, menus that you can set one is mega menu and the cascading menu uh, and if you are using on premises version then you will not be available the mega menu will not be available on that before proceeding to uh, see all these things practically i want to tell you that if you want to learn sharepoint uh, development from the beginning then uh, you can join our course uh, now currently also we are updating the course so everything you will get it free uh, all the products that we are developing also you will get access once you will uh, sign up for the bundle course i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at it so now let's go to the system and uh, we will do step by step okay just to summarize uh, first of all why we need, we need a quick launch or a left navigation in a sharepoint team site or a communication site because we want people to find important information quickly so they just click on that and then they will get the information that is one thing second thing is uh, as i said team site you will get top and left navigation communication site only top navigation you need to be a site owner if you want to make the changes as well as i'll show you two things mega menu and cascading menu how it looks like and mega menu is not available on sharepoint on premises in case you are using sharepoint on premises i'll show you these two things uh, how we can add emoji and also how we can set target audience so that only a group of people can see some links okay so now let me open a site here so if you'll see here this is a site you can see here and in this this is my left navigation so uh, i'll just refresh it once you can see here this is the left navigation whatever you are seeing it here now so all the links are available now i uh, so this is a team site okay so if we'll open a communication chat the navigation will be at the top so now let me click here and then uh, go to change the loop so if you'll see here change the look here you see a section called as navigation if you want to hide the navigation you can see here you just disable it you can see here the navigation is not there and if you'll click here and then if you want horizontal menu you can see here all these links come here so the navigation basically come here so if you want you can do this now uh, i'll show the cascading and mega menu once we'll add some of the links between that so i'll just cancel it now so you want in the left navigation okay so here uh, to add any links or remove any links click on edit okay so once you click on edit you can see here all these things are now in the editable mode so if you want to remove anything suppose you click here and if you want to remove you can remove it and if you want to let's say uh, suppose this employees link is there you want to move up so you can see here click move up and it is uh, going to move up so one one uh, it will go to the up right so uh, this way you can do and if you want to make a sublink you can click here and then you can see here it becomes a sublink of the link which is, which is above top of that one right so I will uh, you can see I can promote and it will go now suppose you want to add a uh, link here now uh, what you'll do here is you can see wherever the position you are if you want to add over there click on this and you can see the options uh, link then the address and then the display name what you want and if you want to open this as a new tab now uh, this link can be a lot of things for example label so when you will add label uh, you can uh, give like a text here no link so suppose i gave like this uh, 
described in a course as you can see here now the course is it, it's not a link uh, but you can see here uh, it will come as a uh, kind of heading or uh, first level uh, link it will come uh, sorry first level thing where under that you can add something suppose i'll click here and i want to uh, give any uh, now look at here one more thing suppose you will see here now if i want conversation the then it will come you can see here then it will uh, show the outlook one conversation and if you want a calendar it will show you the calendar one so the links will it will uh, pick it automatically right so this is how it is and then uh, let me just open uh, let me just save it and i will just open the this one in another tab so that i will add the links here now you can see here now you see courses is not uh, clickable because it's not a link i'll just quickly edit once and then i'll go here and then i want a link here you not only you will provide the sharepoint link even you can uh, give uh, you know microsoft here so and you can give uh, microsoft.com so external links also it will apply you can see here now you can see it is coming here and you can make this as a sub link also you can see here right and same way if, if if suppose i want to you can see here there are certain uh, views are there uh, suppose you want to add some view you can see here like uh, let's say view one sorry i'll take the view one here you can see this is the view link i'll just simply copy this url and i'll put here and then i will say let's say view one and then save it you can see here how it is coming under that and then suppose you want another view so i'll say view uh, hyphen one one uh, one hyphen one i'll give and uh, suppose i will take that uh, view link you can see here this is the view link i'll just put the url here now click on see right so if you want to uh, under make it uh, under sub link you can see here you can add like this also now i'll click on save you can see here now and you can see a icon is coming and uh, you can see here this is how it is appearing um, and left navigation you can add links like this now let me uh, go to uh, change the look again and here you can see here navigation and uh, then i'll make it horizontal and then you can see here cascading drop down so i'll just save it so when you will have cascading uh, navigation which is by default you can see here how it is coming right so you can see here here you can navigate same way i'll go here and i'll change this to mega menu you'll see here now when you will set this as mega menu you see how it is appearing now you will have all the links here you can see see this so this is how like it will come in this way right so bold it is coming because whichever are the first level links under that if anything is there it will not come bold else it will come as bold you can see here right so this is another way of doing this thing so let me just change it so that we can see in the uh, left navigation so i'll go here i'll make it to vertical right so now next what we will do is i'll show you two important things here one thing is suppose you are in a pages uh, directory so let's say you are in a page and there is a dummy page you can see here and uh, you, what you can do here is you can select this page and then you can say add to navigation so if it is a page then uh, it will come in the navigation probably i just have to refresh it once again let you uh, let it be you can see here dummy page is coming here and if you want to uh, have a sub sub menu or something then you have to adjust it from here right so that's how we can do uh, next what i'll show you is how we can add emoji into this suppose you want uh, let's say employees the text is there you want to give some emoji to it uh, so what you can do here is left or right side of the text you can go to emoji pdf on, on this and then you can click on any emoji and then copy this so once you copy this you come here uh, then you click on edit and now suppose employees link is there i want to edit it and before this text i'll save it you can see here i'll click on okay now you can see here how it is coming a uh, this emoji also is coming here right so this way you can uh, take any image uh, emoji from here and you can add it I'll, I'll put this link here so that you can uh, take emojis from from this side and last very important thing i'm going to show it here is uh, 
the target audience targeting okay so before going into that one uh, if you want to learn sharepoint as i said even in, uh, in the video at the beginning you can sign up for uh, training course which we have now we are updating the course we are going to add a lot more products into that we are, which are development product which you can try it on your uh, system and everything you will get it on the bundle i'll put the link in the video description now uh and what i'll do here is now understand this why we require audience targeting uh, so why we need audience targeting is because we want suppose this employees link i want uh, this to be uh, to appear to a set of people and uh, uh, for other people this should not be visible for a particular set of people this should be visible for that you can create groups for it so i have another video where i have i think i have explained how you can create groups and all these things so you can i just quickly say new group and you can create the group you can add the user into this group okay so uh i have created two groups you can see here sp group 1 and sp group 2 and in the sp group 1 i have uh, two members uh, one is the user 1 uh, you can see here uh, user 1 and uh, in the sp group 2 i have uh, another one which is the user 2 right so uh, what i want here is uh, in this left navigation i want the employees link uh, to be available only to the sp group 1 that means who are a part of this sp group 1 they should be able to see this link the uh, the other people should not be able to see it now for that what i'll do here is i'll go here you can see click on edit and uh, then click on uh, enable site navigation once you enable site navigation when you edit any of the link you can see here there is a audience to target uh, uh, things are appearing where you can add up to 10 audience tag and so here i will put sp group 1 so you can see here sp group 1 and click on save so now and then you will see here there is a uh, share I icon is coming now click on save so ideally according to our requirement or whatever we saw it uh, or whatever the configuration we did any person who is a part of this sp group 1 they should be able to see this a uh, link which is called as employees right so what i will i will go here you can see here this one i have logged in with user 1 i'll just refresh it and you can see here employees is visible to this user i will go to this one i will just refresh this one you can see here this is on user 2 you can see here user 2 so you can see the employees link you will not be able to see it because we said that that is should be available only to, to the users who are part of sp group 1 so that's how you can set enables audience targeting this is also very important feature where uh, you know you can uh, you can do the settings and, uh, and only those people who will target they can see the navigation so this is very quite important and this way you can uh, implement it okay so this is how you can uh, work with left navigation and customization i had a video previously but that was old that was in the classic sharepoint chat so i thought i'll make this video i hope this will be helpful and if you want any specific video you can put in the video description or you can comment in the video so that i will make videos on that okay so till i'll uh, you know make the next video uh, it's a goodbye